Assalamu alaikum guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Abdul Hanan and my role id is 191057 today i am discussing the lab uh, one which is uh, basic logic gates and verification of their truth tables i have made the circuit of and gate and non gate and proteus and today i show you the simulation of uh, basic gates on proteus i made the circuit of and gate and non gate on proteus here i use the dc source uh, for the input uh, which uh, I set the value of 5 volt here and these are the two switches uh, for the input terminal 1 and 2 and when the switch is closed which means I am giving the high input and when the switch is open which means the I am giving the low input and here you see two resistors R1 and R2 I use these resistors because sometimes this happens that this sometimes uh, some voltage remains and the input terminal switch. so to remove that voltage as uh, input terminals I use these two resistors resistors of small value so it can ground that voltage and does not cause any error this is the AND gate and its IC number is 7408 and this is the NAND gate which is which IC number is 7400 and here you see the two LEDs for the AND gate and NAND gate blue one is for AND gate and yellow one is for NAND gate which shows us the output whether it is low or high now run the circuit when both the switches are open means that both inputs are low so AND gate gives us the low output and NAND gate gives us the high output. When I close the switch 1 input 1 is high but input 2 is low so AND gate gives us the low output and NAND gate gives us the high output. When I close the both the switches now both the inputs are high so AND gate gives us the high output and NAND gate gives us the low output. So in this way we verify the truth tables of AND gate and NAND gate. Now to verify the truth table of other gates we only change the gates here and rest of the circuit is remain same. Now I change the previous gates with OR gate and NOR gate. The IC number of OR gate is 7432 and IC number of NOR gate is 7402. As we all know that the OR gate gives us the high output when, when any of the input is high and uh, as we know NOR is the combination of NOT and OR gate so it gives us the output opposite to that of OR gate. Now run the circuit. Now when we run the circuit uh, at that time both of the inputs are low so OR gate gives us the low output and NOR gate uh, gives us the high output. Now when we close the switch 1, now OR gate gives us the high output and NOR gate gives us the low output. When I close the switch 2 but open the switch 1, OR gate gives us the high output and NOR gate gives us the low output. When I close the switch 2, now both the inputs are high so OR gate gives us the high output and NOR gate gives us the low output. So from the result of this simulation, we verify the truth tables of OR gate and NOR gate. Now I change the gates with XOR gate and XNOR gate. The IC number of XOR gate is 7486 and IC number of XNOR gate is 4077. As we know XOR gate uh, gives us the high output when both inputs are changed with each other. Means uh, if input 1 is uh, 0 and input 2 is 1, uh, XOR gate gives us the high output and XNOR gate uh, which is the NOT of XOR gate gives us the low output. When both inputs are same means uh, both inputs are 0 0 or 1 1. XOR gate gives us the low output and XNOR gate gives us the high output. Now when we run the circuit as uh, both inputs are same means uh, both uh, inputs are at low level so XOR gate gives us the low output and XNOR gate gives us the high output. When we change the any of the input uh, here I change the input 1 means now input 1 is at high level. So both our inputs are different from each other so XOR gate gives us the high output and XNOR gate gives us the low output. When we 
close the switch to now both inputs are same and both inputs are at high level so again xor gate gives us the low output and xnor gate gives us the high output so in this way we verify the truth tables of xor gate and xnor gate now our last gate is not gate so implement the circuit now i implement the circuit for not gate Now I implement the circuit for NOT gate as NOT gate is inversion gate so when the output is uh, when the input is low NOT gate gives us the high output and when the input is high NOT gate gives us the low output. So when I run this circuit uh, here switch is open so we have the low output but NOT gate gives us the high output because it is inversion gate and when I close the switch now input is high and NOT gate gives us the low output. So we verify the NOT gate and our lab is complete as we verify the all gates and verify their truth tables.